got so many wonderful emails from students that were concerned. An Akron teacher moved to tears after she was assaulted by a student. Tonight, that teacher and others opening up only with News 5 about their concerns over bad behavior, violence, even guns in schools. Bob Jones sat down with those teachers and has the response from district leaders. So this is one of the bigger fights. Union leaders for uh, Akron Public School teachers have been monitoring disturbing videos posted on social media, showing students fighting inside Kenmore Garfield High School. In classrooms, the cafeteria, and in the auditorium. It is very hard to watch. It breaks my heart. It was chaos. In one of the melees, culinary arts teacher Jennifer Morales suffered a broken nose. I talked with some people that said it looked like in the videos that I was hit four times. I, um, I really remember just once. Morales says about eight girls were throwing punches in the auditorium and when she tried to help break things up, she was knocked to the ground and punched. So if you've ever been punched in the face, yes, it, it hurts. My eyes were black and blue. Morales took a week off but is back on the job and wants to keep teaching. An email from a student solidified her decision. He told me that he wouldn't blame me if I didn't come back but that he really hoped that I did, and that one brought me to tears. Music teacher Andrea Heinel filed a report with the district after she was punched in the back about a month ago by a disruptive student at Ritzman Elementary. It hurt enough that my back hurt for a week, and I um, w met with my doctor to make sure that everything was okay. Andrea says the same student punched a pregnant teacher in the stomach earlier this school year and was suspended, but did not get a suspension for hitting Andrea. The student is still in the building, and the behaviors are still occurring. And Dan Richards, a Kenmore Garfield school counselor, is troubled that students brought two guns to the school. According to police reports, one of the guns was loaded, and two students are facing weapons charges. Many teachers many practitioners in our building uh, clamoring for uh, regular and daily um, metal detectors in our building. The teachers stress they understand the pandemic is creating pressures and that most of the kids are good students in schools to learn. But the union also passed a resolution of no confidence of the Office of Student Support Services and argues the district is frequently not following the code of student behavior when it comes to handing down consequences for serious offenses. We've seen instances um, of physical assault on teachers that absolutely should have resulted in an expulsion. Police charged the student who punched Morales with assault, and Morales says the girl was suspended, but a decision on whether to expel her hasn't been made. There's a lot of concern, not just with, you know, the adults in the building, but with the students as well. Representatives from the teachers union are scheduled to share their concerns during a meeting next Thursday with a superintendent. Damn! In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.